G'day everybody, Lachlan Patterson here, and welcome to our very first DVD opening on Patterson Supercars. Now while DVD Vobin R4 Triton is start your engines. 2010 DVD, and here we go. It's like a dream come true. Becoming the V8 Supercar Champion is achieved by only a select few. At the start of the new season, every driver in the field dares to have that dream become a reality. What is it that gives them hope, makes them come back and reach for that ultimate goal? In this program, we'll be looking at what it is that lifts the hopes of every driver, of every owner, and all of the teams going into the 2010 V8 Supercar Championship Series. The roar of the crowd has barely settled from the 2009 season closer in Sydney, but already the plans for every team and driver in season 2010 are well underway. Last year saw some big changes to the category. The introduction of E85 ethanol fuel saw additional pit stops which changed the rhythm of races. The softer compound Dunlop Sprint tyre helped create a range of race winners, including some first-timers. There were two new street circuits to challenge the teams and more than one change to the qualifying process. But when all was said and done, it was Jamie Winker who stole the show on the streets of Sydney Olympic Park and took the championship trophy. For Winker, back-to-back -back championships. For the rest of the field, another off-season to plot his downfall. If Winker wants to three-peat in 2010, he sure has his work cut out. Team Vodafone switched to Holden will add an extra challenge to the pursuit. But if there's one man who can do it, it might just be Winker. In 2009 saw a lot of rule changes in V8 supercar racing and most of the drivers were happy with the results. I think the sprint tyres have been good fun this year, uh, although I wouldn't mind a different format. I'd like to see them introduce um, you know, one set of softs for, for each race. Um, I think that would make it a probably a fairer game. I think that at the moment the, uh, the sprint tyre is, uh, you know, if you don't use the sprint tyre and the strategy doesn't work, then uh, you've ruined your weekend and you don't have a shot in the second race when you don't have any soft tyres left. So um, it's been exciting for the category and, and exciting for the spectators. Um, I would say that that's the best thing that's been introduced this year, but it just needs some improvement. I think the sprint tyre is amazing fun to drive on. It's, um, it's what the car should be. It's got a lot of grip. You know, it's a lot better for racing for us. You can, you're able to pass and, and um, if you drag a brake, you don't fire off. You can sort of stay on the circuit. So it's, uh, I think it's produced good racing. I'm um, not too sure about how you can use it either day. I think it would be better if we all used it the same day or used it all the time. Um, but, you know, it's been good for strategy. It's, it's kept the, uh, the engineers with uh, a lot to think about and probably given themselves a lot of headaches with it. Uh, but you know, I think it's a good thing and it, it has thrown, you know, a few balls in the air. It all feels normal now. Getting to the end of the year, you feel like the sprint tyre has been around for a long time. But uh, I, I think we can change the format of the sprint tyre. Um, I didn't mind the fact that every race was around. I, I, I didn't mind the fact, and we qualified each day. That was, uh, I think that was a good change. It really has mixed it up. It's really made you on edge for the strategy. Um, it's upset, and mainly a lot of top teams are getting upset uh, because you know they're, they're finding it harder to, to you know do the winning. And there's we've thrown up a few successful um, players like Mike Caruso, who won at Darwin on, off, the, you know, off the back of a sprint tire choice. So. Um, you know, I think that's great. I think we can, um, I'd like to push on with that. I'd like to see the tyres be softer again and run, have the main tyres soft, you know, like the current tyres. Because the more grip we have, it's easier to pass. It, it really is fun. And then, of course, the car falls in a heap. So it's about management. The soft tyre coming in has been exciting for our sport. Obviously, the, um, the way it changes the race weekend, you know, guys moving forward and guys dropping back so quickly. And um, obviously E85 has been, um, you know, a big step in our sport to you know, change our carbon emissions and make our footprint smaller is um, really good. And you know, obviously there's a few things that are happening in the moment, the background car of the future that, you know, are starting to come online. So, um, you know, our sport's pretty, um, it looks like it's at an exciting point at the moment. Um, there's a lot to talk about and, uh, yeah, it looks good for the future. It's really changed uh, the racing up, I think, uh, with the... Uh, 
with the, you know, a few different race winners and, you know, people sort of, you know, having a bit of a lottery to try to get the tyres and pull a safety car and whatnot. Um, you know, I think that's been really, really good. Um, you know, I think the, the pit stops, uh, the pit stops have been very, very good. So it's just really changing the, the formula up and making, you know, the strategy coming out into it a bit more. The introduction of the option Dunlop tyre has been has been really good. It's been been a good find for the category because it really it, it, it mixes the strategy up so much. Um, and look, I, I think some of the race formats have been great as well. Some of the some of the um, particularly Indy kept everyone on their toes. We probably won't see that format again. But um, anything where it mixes. Go well, up for this edition of Kiwi the Bubbins. The premiere on Patterson Supercars. Thank you, Washing. If you're not really pushing these views, views give the views, these robins, give these robins, and from the vault, put them in the comments section below. Don't forget to throw those thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this video on a super weird DVD. Start your engines, the season preview for the 2010 VH Supercars Championship Series. And we've got a lot of great content coming up. For your grinding cameras right out, here on Passion Supercars and YouTube. Uh, some benefits to change it. Anyway, we're up for now. Thank you for watching. And see you next time uh, for DVD Good night, everyone.